What's on Common Fossil today? Talking about Palafin EX. We all got this as part of the Summer Bash, of course, back when the p- card itself was bugged, but Live gave it to everyone anyway. Anyway, they fixed the bug, and it was still marginally okay, but now with Shrouded Fable, the deck has, a card slash deck has gotten so much better, right? Uh, the downside to Palafin EX, why we need the new cards from Shattered Fable, is Hero Spirit ability. Your ability is usually good things. This time it's definitely a negative. The only way to put this Pokemon into play is with the effect of Palafin's zero to hero, hero ability. Look at that next. But before that, why do we want to bother with the dealing with it? Palafin EX stats are tremendous. 340 HP on a stage one Pokemon and 250 damage for one energy tremendous stats but to get it in play you have to have a palafin single prize with zero to hero ability in the active and then when the pokemon switches to the bench you can search your deck for a palafin ex replace this palafin with that and then you have to get your palafin ex now from the bench to the active so you have to switch out twice which which is certainly manageable but now with peckerunt ex so much better it's got the subjugating change ability once during a turn you can switch one of your darkest pokemon with uh, your active Pokemon, not a Pekka Run EX, but another one, and uh, that new that Pokemon becomes poisoned, and we have multiple uh, free retreat options in Darkness Pokemon, so now it's easy to get that double switch. The other thing with Palafin EX, assuming you're not knocked out, you're not going to get knocked out all the time because we're nice and tanky. Um, you can't attack the next turn, but again, as long as you have Pekka Runt, and a, a free retreating Darkness Pokemon, you can keep switching the same Palafin EX to attack also, if that's what you need to do. So the deck works so much better now. So let's take a look at the deck in action. I think you'll like what you see. And then after the gameplay, I'll do a, an overview of the full 60. My thoughts on the, where the deck, the quality of the deck, some possible changes. And um, my, just my yeah, general sense of where the deck is. All right, see how things go here. Would like to go first if I can, although... Um, okay, and I can go first go first so that's that's nice there hopefully i get an obviously good start need to get a basic and play so i can attack and we'll see what i can get the act to spot all those things all right taking a mulligan um and now the kieran is very important in this deck so uh, getting be able to get the kieran when you want it though that part's a little problematic and maybe the deck needs luminion v from my gameplay um i will say that and depending how things go I could even shift and drop that in the deck before I'm done. Okay, so one mulligan. And I am first. Uh, all right, I will. I don't have a free retreater. I'll drop him in the active and hopefully we'll see. I do have a switch a switch as well. Um, so we'll see what happens. Okay, uh, so my opponent's going to knock me out. That's what's going to happen. So, all right, I have Pekka Runt. So let's see. Do I have the V? Because I have four of Steel Stone. I have Sneasler. So I'll get Sneasler, I think, with. So get two two Finizens. I will leave, I guess, the other Finizen in the active. I'll drop down the Sneasler. Because I. And attach the four of Steel Stone. I, 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 I'm actually finding the Sneasler to be very good in this deck. I'll just leave it here. Oh, I, I want to attach the Sneasler and just end turn. It's it's a good spot to be in, I think. So um, I'm really liking the Sneasler. When I first built the deck, I, I just used more Pico um, because I was like, why do I want Sneasler? Why do I want a two-prize switch liability, right? Um, now you already have the Pekka Runt, so it's not like they don't have, a, if they have boss, it's not like they don't have a, a target with the, the exact same HP. So, so th- that's not such a big issue. And honestly... Um, the, uh, well, the fact that you can use four seal stones really good. So I, I honestly almost never play more Pico in this deck. So anyway, we'll see what happens here. They might take the knockout. Um, once I set up, hope now, if they get the tool that I need something, a modifier to get the knockout, I do have the tool and they do have, um, so I have options. Um, Iona, okay, that's not bad, because I was looking to play my own Iona, quite frankly, so, and if they knock me out, that's fine, and, okay, max, that, that's maximum belt, really good, um, having the stage, the Palafin EX in hand, that part's not good, um, I don't, what did I have, do I have Pekka Runt in, in the deck, or is it, 
I mean, do I have um, Pheasantipity? Or is he prized? I don't remember. Oh, I have Irida. Irida's awesome with this. Because Irida gets me the Palafin. And Irida gets me my energy. And, I, and I'd like to save for a Seal Stone, right? And I only play one, so it may get lost one at some point. So, all right, they send up the the Pivot. Okay. So I'll just, so I'll probably just take two prizes here. Um, make it nice and easy. Yeah, there's a good chance they're going to one-shot me, though. I will say that. I don't, I, I'm not thrilled about that. So Irida, grab a Palafin. No, not this Palafin. That would be very sad. Uh, to two EXs in hand, that's good. An item, I need energy because I want to save my forest seal stone right save him for a rainy day um so i will get rid of artisan because i already have my my basics in play here get the two do i have i could drop pheasant dippity down as well i might do that because i'm going to want him next turn if, if they mess with my hand so i'm thinking i want that so it's going very nicely here. Might as well drop down Pheasant Dippy. Just get myself set up for whatever happens here. Um, and if they gust up my Pheasant Dippity, that's okay. And if they knock out something else, that's okay as well. So switch. Just don't make sure I don't use Sneezers. A really bad mistake. That would be very sad. I want to save the Forest Seal Stone. Yes, please to that. Um, one Palafin's in deck. One, of course, is in hand. So I just got. I still have one in deck though. So that part's okay. I will retreat. And of course you can attack for and just poison, but that's not overly useful. Take the knockout there. Uh, we'll see what happens. Look, if they knock me out, I'm in pretty good shape though, too. So um, I'm liking this position. It's obviously not, it's not a guaranteed win, but this is a very happy board state for me. Um, and I'm glad I, I don't have the 50 HP because it's Dragapult, so what do they have for attackers? I didn't pay nothing yet. So, I mean, it's Reggie Drago. So, Dragapult's annoying. Um, the V-Star power is very good. So, they might be just utilizing that to set up. Okay, research makes sense there. Um, Earthen Vessel. So, they need... So, they got... Okay, so Dragapult is now an attacking option. So, I'm going to need to one-shot them. Which means, okay, so 280, I, I have, well, Maximum Belt's no good. I have Choice Belt in deck, right? And I do have my, what's Kieran? So I can one-shot them, and that, that's really important. They're not going to one-shot me, though, right? I, I will just double switch. Um, and this, I need to either grab the tool, or, I mean, if they, they, if they gust up my Pheasant, uh, let me think about this. I guess if they knock me out, I just send up the Palafin again. Oh, Halucha. Okay, well, that's... Okay, so that's an important play. So they're going to take out a Pheasant... A, a Physian. Oh, there's not... Oh, okay. So they can take out the Pheasant Dippity um, at some point in the game. And that's actually bad, but I have the Sneasel. The Sneasel's got the tool, so it's not a terrible spot that I'm in. Um, maybe they should have used the, their Pheasant Dippity sooner. I'm not certain. Um, okay, just setting up their next Reggie Drago. I think they only have, what, what are their attacking options? I mean, they're going to take out one Fizzy and hit into my active. Um, and I think I, this is not bad at all though, right? It's really not too bad, not too shabby. Um, I can get the tool. I can get the supporter. That that's those are my decisions there, right? So, so how do I want to work this? Um, do I just do want to just draw some cards first? Let me just take a look and see what's in my deck a second. So, I could. So, Kieran is in. I have two Kierans in the deck. So I think I want a Kieran this turn. I thinking Kieran's the better play. So I will, I'll just draw with, with Pheasantipity first. If, if I, if I don't have to, 
Well, this is nice too, for sure. Um, so evolve him like that. And I want to, well, let me send him up, right? That's move number one, so you can attack again. I don't, I'm not gonna get a switch here. I'm gonna use the Forest Seal Stone, get the Kirin, and take the knockout, right? That gets me what I need. I'm just trying to think things through so I can use my supporter for next turn. That's partly what I'm thinking. So, so the Kieran, which does 50 more to my opponent's EX and V. So that's really good there. So Kieran, I don't want to switch. I want to do 30 more. Beautiful there. I retreat because I don't need to use the switching ability. I take the knockout. 280. Um, so they can, you know, getting the knockout here was really important uh, for sure. So I'm down to one more prize for the win the game. And I have another, I have the tool in deck and I've got the supporter deck. Now, I, my ability to get that card is, is not so good this turn, right? But I did get the Palafin Evolve. That's really good too. I assume they're going to knock out my Palafin EX. Um, and do they have Gudra, by the way? Because if they if they attack with Gudra, they take the knockout, and they don't let me... Um, they don't let me... All right, so, um, knock them out next turn. But let's... Are they going to just... I mean, Dragapult EX, of course, is very good. A lot of decks play, too. They have Gudra now as well. So they might use Gudra... Okay, using their ability. Um, and they get to get any two cards back at hand. So it's very nice there, right? They've got to be setting up for next turn, I assume. Oh, look, if I knock out the Reggie Drago V-Star, they lose the game. So they don't need another Reggie Drago in the bench. Um, so they have the attack. They have They have knockout, obviously. They don't win get win game obviously. So taking out my pivot. Um, okay. So maybe I want to I want to attack this Palafin though, right? Because I do have more Pico in deck, right? And I think he's better. And I still have Pheasantipity, right? So I like that as well. So count, I, no, I'm not behind in prizes. I'm ahead in prizes. So let me get more Pico in play. I like that. I have the Palafin. Um, I have Bossed for game. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. I don't really want to do more than that. So wait, so what did they do? Did they use, did they take 80 less? So. Let me see what I draw here. Um, I wanted to get the more Pico out of deck first, so I want to see if I have... I missed what I needed for games. So can they win right, right now? They cannot win, right? So send it the more Pico. Um, unless they, they'd have to ping the more Pico, right? And yes, there. But they also have the boss now. And I don't know. They probably don't have another Halucha. I don't. Well, I'm assuming they don't. But, you know, if they do, I'm definitely in some trouble. I mean, that's fair to say, right? So I could Iono them. <sighs> I don't know if I do want to Iono them, though. I mean, I want to attack with the guy with full HP. That's pretty simple there. And do I do anything else, though? Right? That's part of my question here. I guess do I start flipping the script here? Might as well do that. It, it, it has some value, right? So I'll do this. And do I Iono here? I think I just attack. And uh, let's see what happens here. I... Should I have, you know, should I have Iono? Should I have Ultra Ball just to thin out the deck? Maybe. Maybe. I could have also gone back with the, uh, uh, with the Stewing Sneezer Yeah, just double checking the name there. Instead of the more Pico. So, 
Should I have Iota? I don't know. Depends what these two cards are, right? If these cards are what I need. If they take the knockout, I have game with countercatcher. So, and if they don't have knockout, I probably have game as well, right? So I probably have game now. Whatever happens. They could unfair stamp me still. I assume, I mean, I, I end up with the same number of cards, right? So let's see what they choose. I believe they can take out. Um, yes, yeah, so they're going to take. Oh, they just did. Wait, oh, they did 200. They're reducing damage here, right? So it reduces by 80, but they're down to 110. So I just have game here. So I will just send up more Pico. Retreat. And I just attack for game. I do believe, right? I believe I do. Yep. So, right, I mean, they needed to win that last well i don't really know what they you know i'm not sure they had much of a chance that as it was i think i just had game so got the win there deck performed very nicely uh going first of course was quite nice my opponent i don't believe you know they didn't get the fastest start uh, i will say as well and hey the deck with the, you know with these new changes this with the new set uh shredded fable this deck palafin works a lot better besides the fact that life fixed it of course so it just works in general uh the switching which is so key to this deck works very very smoothly now all right see how things go got a loss last game got a a rough start a little bit awkward prizing as well uh, my opponent got a good start too so i mean that that's all part of the game right what cards do you draw my opponent went first and uh, they got a good start. I went second and got a bad start, even with going second, right? So uh, it pretty much left me uh, without anything to do. Okay, starting him, that's good. All right, th these are a nice set of cards here. Very pleased about this, very pleased. So Dragapult, um, winnable, not the easiest thing in the world though. Okay, so... Let's see what I have here. I have my V. Hmm. I I have four seal stones, so maybe I want to get the V in play. In which case, I don't want to drop down the more Pico, right? That's that's kind of the question. I mean, the more Pico is not bad. Then I could use the. No, I'm going to just do that. Okay, just do this. And I'm going to drop down my V. I don't love this scenario. And then I think, do I want to drop down another Physian? I'm going to drop down another Physian. And I think I want to get, I'm going to, I want to get energy attached. I think I'm not in a good spot. I have nothing happening next turn though. I, oh, I know I have, I have. Or a seal stone, so that's the good part, right? And I assume they're not going to take a knockout, so this is not. So let me think. So for a seal stone, I need the uh, palafin, and I need uh, let the peckerunt or the uh, it's not, yeah, it's the peckerunt, the one, the guy that frees that poisons and switches, right? Uh, and then I and then I'm good to go with that next turn. Am I, how's the game going to play out? Obviously, I need to get um, these palafins evolve quickly, um, just so I, I right because if they play Halucha, I'm in I'm in some danger right now. Hopefully, if they lost a vacuum me, I'm pretty much done. So I think I'm going to Iono here. I think that's the play. Oh, Irida, Irida gets me. Actually, Irid is what I need here, right? So I grab Irida, I get my Palafin, and I grab a Nest Ball, right? Because that gets me, uh, um, gets me Pecorunt. Okay, I have more Pico. All right, not terrible. So, uh, actually, actually, I have what I need, right? For this next turn, it's not ideal. I, I don't think I want to use my Forest Seal Stone yet, I got to say. 
Um, so I will use my ability, and then which lets me use my other ability, which lets me take a knockout. Um, the nice thing is because of this whole poison scenario, I, I can switch very easily. So save my star alchemy. I, I, I think because I want like access to a support or something next turn. I mean, I could get another palafin, but I this is the I just take a knockout here. My opponent can't one shot me. Um, I took one prize, which I don't love. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. The game's about taking multi prizes. So, let me, so there are three thirty HP Pokemon. So, but I do two fifty. So I need. I, I can one shot them with the Kieran and the. Um, I do plus fifty right with the one tool for the EXs and the Kieran does thirty more. So this is where those those cards become very important. So they're set up. Do they have near upper energy? I don't know. Um, and if my opponent doesn't really do anything, I think, I think, I think, I, I might not use the force just on, or maybe I want to get Pheasantipity in play because Pheasantipity is really useful to me. So, do they play near upper energy? I don't know. I don't think I've seen an A spec yet. Um. Okay, so they might play Neo Upper Energy, but they're not attacking this turn, so that's good. They're not going to leave the Pidgeot EX in play. Um, okay, I mean, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, they probably should have saved the Counter Catcher because I, I have the free switch. Um, maximum Belt is very nice there. So I, I can actually, this is actually very good here, so let me... Pekka Runt, I will take the knockout. And, um, because I can't evolve here, right? So I, I can't do that, but I can attack. I think I want to drop down Pheasantipity myself, right? Because I take the knockout here, and uh, that's really good. So let me... Do I want to, or do I save my Forest Seal Stone? I'm going to save the Forest Seal Stone. It's a bit risky doing 250, but I take the knockout, and um, that's really good, right? If I lose the Forest Seal Stone, they probably play a Lost Vacuum, so that's the risk. I only play one um, Lost Forest Seal Stone, so if they Lost Vacuum it away... Okay, I got the, the third Palafin. That, that's a plus as well. got Artisan, which I don't think I care about. Um, I don't play it often, honestly. Maybe Artisan goes out of the deck. So they're planning on attacking. And I can attack next turn, right? I don't think they can stop me from attacking uh, from next turn. I mean, well, I mean, if they if they bench something to shut down uh, Pekka Run's ability, then they would. Um, so anyway, getting rid of the... Uh, Okay, so, I mean, they don't one-shot me. That's the good thing. They two-shot me. The tool doesn't particularly matter. Um, Iono. And a, there's a good chance I can one-shot them here, right? Because I have Kieran to uh, do more damage. So that's really nice. Okay, they get the extra draw, and that, that's nice. You know, the Drake Cloak here is very good. And that's a, at the moment, they don't have energy to attack, right? So that's... Um, you know, this could be a scoop on my opponent's part. We'll see. It's been, it's been on not the best start, this game. Uh, can they take the knockout? Okay, so if they... I forgot about the Dusk Skull. Dusk, the Dusk Skull, right? So they can do 50 or 130. Well, if they do 130, if they do 50, 200, 230, they, they're, they're, they're still short, right? Oh, they don't have energy, so that's... So they can knock me out next turn, though. So that's the so now they can, so that's actually meaningful, um, but I don't think it matters because. So I will switch here, right? That's the first thing I do. I'll send you up. I'm gonna retreat. Um. I get my supporter. I assume that's in deck. Um, and then a question becomes what do I do with the, with the Ultra Ball? 
And I do have Kieran. Yeah, I have Kieran. And I think I need to drop down. So I have Knockout. So I one-shot them. Super awesome there. I'm going to ditch the boss just because I, I want access to Irida next turn. And I want Pheasant Dippity. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking I need to do for next turn. Just setting up my next turn. And I, I one-shot their Dragapult. Uh, that's right. It's only 320. It's not 330. I mean, only. It's, it's obviously... I think Charizard is 330, of course, this one. So down to one prize card remaining. To me, my opponent hasn't taken any... Um, I'm a little vul like I used my forest seal stone, so I, I'm that's that's unfortunate. They they get the C five card, well six cards. They draw for turn. They get two. They look at two cards with Drake. Look, I think they should have used Pheasantipity first, probably though, right? Because you make a decision on Drake Loke. So generally, the logic is you want to use cards that are strictly random first, like just drawing your three cards with Pheasantipity. Then when you see the two cards with Drake Loke, you know what piece you're needing, right? You, you may you have a better you have more knowledge to know which two cards you're going to choose. So obviously, you don't know what the exact cards are in your deck and how they're stacked. But So you don't know. To, I mean, sometimes if you knew how the deck was stacked, you'd know you needed one of the two cards from Drake Loke and you needed all three of the cards from Pheasant Dippity. So that sequence could be, could be better. But without that knowledge, uh, you want to... Generally, I think Pheasant Dippity first. Let's, you know, I, I try to do those things when I play. I certainly don't succeed all the time. And my opponent, I think, is kind of stuck. I'm down to one prize remaining. I one-shot everything they have in play. Um, I have Irida. I have Ultra Ball. So I just need to switch, switch. And I just need to switch it up. And I win the game. So I will just send up the Sneasler, right? Yeah, just making sure I get the right guy. I don't want to misclick here. And I just swing in and I take the knockout. So, uh, you know, didn't get the ideal start to um, a concerning matchup. Uh, I, I can't, but, you know, the, the fact that, the, that, you know, I have the ability to one shot these high HP Pokemon is very good, right? So the deck 250 in and of itself isn't really enough, right? You're, you're taking out the the, the, the the basic V's and the X's, but you're not t knocking out the evolutions. Um, but then with Ki Kieran's actually pretty important, plus the, the two different tools um, gets us to the numbers we need. And so the deck's working very well. All right, so there we have it. Palafina EX is working pretty good, I got to say. The stats just insane, right? For a stage one, 340 HP. Giga Impact does 250 damage for one energy. Can't attack again the next turn, but we have that in, in, in Pokemon like 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 uh, Moran and EX that does only 220 and with the same thing. Can't attack next turn, and it takes three energy. So it's just tremendous the attack and the stats. Obviously, getting into play is awkward. We have to have a, a single prize Palafin in the active. Switch it to the bench. So we play three copies of the EX, three copies of, of this stage one but the darkness pokemon make it very doable so super super love it i also playing one copy of the of a of a an attacking option with for single prize palafin attacker um we can attack obviously with with this guy but it says 30 for two that's not good and we're not don't we don't have extra energies to attach so but this palafin gives us a single energy attacking option vanguard punch does 130 for a water energy and it does 10 to itself for each damage counter on it so you know you're you potentially are knocking yourself out, but it's a single prize attacker. You can either set up something if you can't one shot it with Palafin EX or finish something off, or just take out a single prize Pokemon that doesn't have any damage on it. So it's just a nice option to have, although I find I don't use it a ton. We play two different Physians, three copies of the 70 HP Physian. Um, I don't, um, which just because Dragapult EX is real, either obviously there's Dragapult EX decks or Regidrago V-Star decks that copy it to place six damage counters on bench Pokemon, and that's not good So for, for low HP Pokemon, so go on that 70 HP guy for sure. But one copy, the 50 HP Physian is really good. If you go second, you want to end your turn with Valiant Evolution Attack. Uh, for one Water Energy, you, you switch this Pokemon with your bench Pokemon, which is fine, and if you do, you search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon. So we get to get a Palafin Evolved onto the bench, and then we just have to do the switching the following turn. 
Uh, by the way, we do play a copy of Manaphy just for, for the bench protection, but it's these darkness Pokemon that really make this deck shine, right? The pet, we can't attack with them. Oh, that's not true. We can attack with the one I'll mention. Uh, the Pheasant Dippity, because, but we generally won't. But uh, Pekka Run EX, Subjugating Chains ability, awesome, awesome, awesome for a deck like this. Um, you switch dark, a Darkness Pokemon once per turn. So essentially, once we have the Palafin EX, the, the Synchronized Palafin the active, our two Darkness Pokemon, we guaranteed to get Palafin EX into the active attacking every turn. And that was something that wasn't the case before this set came out. So really awesome there. So two switching Pokemon, one one more Pico. When I first built the deck, I had two copies of more Pico because I'm like, hey, um, he does retreat cost as one officially, but it has no energy uh, attached to it, which you don't want attached to it. It has no retreat cost. So essentially it's a free retreat Pokemon. And it's a single prizer, which is very appealing. But two things I've learned from playing two Caps and more Pico. First off, you're often giving up either a Physian or a single prize Palafin getting knocked out somewhere along the way. So having another single prizer doesn't necessarily help. Um, and then the other thing is, um, he's assuming Sneezer V is just way better. First off, um, getting a little higher HP because Dragapult's around is helpful there. But also it's a V. Forest Seal Stone is such a friend to this deck. Um, honestly, when unless there's a clear reason to go with more Pico to, 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 to bench, go with Assuming Sneasler V. First, I didn't play it all in the deck. Now, I honestly would, am considering dropping more Pico and putting two Assuming Sneasler Vs, and it's just that good. Um, the extra HP, I think, is generally a positive, and um, being able to play Forest Seal Stone is awesome. So I kind of I'm at the place where I rarely play, put the more Pico into play. And then one copy of Fez and Dippity, flip scripted ability, just really good. It's just going to go into just a million different decks now, right? And this is this deck is no different. Uh, once during a turn, if any of your Pokemon are knocked out during the last turn, you can draw three cards. And, you know, as, as with most decks, it, it, once you're set, it, your opponent has to knock you out to use it. And that, that's really true. But as long as we're set up, we've attacked with Palafin EX, we have our our Pekka Runt and, and, and a retreating and a free retreat Darkness Pokemon. Unless our, if our opponent doesn't knock out our Palafin or something else, we can attack the next turn. We can attack with the same Palafin uh, no matter what, right? Either, so it's it's okay. So either we have access to Fenzidipity or we just attack with the same Pokemon again, right? Whether we have to do our switching with a Darkness Pokemon or just um, just do the switching because that's so easy to do with this deck. So Fezendipity EX, awesome in this deck. You can attack, uh, does 100 to any of your opponent's Pokemon, hits the bench, which is nice, but it's three energy. We don't have any energy acceleration, so it's probably not happening. In terms of energy, just five water energy. When I first built the deck, I did play Jet Energy in it, which I know some lists play. And ultimately, with the Darkness Pokemon, you don't need the Jet Energy, so just cut it out of the deck. The, the Colors Energy doesn't really help pay any attack costs, and it takes deck space, so just drop the Jet Energy, just Water Energy, you should be fine with it. All right, how to get Pokemon in play. I always like to start there. So first, for Buddy Buddy Poffin, for Ultra Ball, you do that was coming, and for Nest Ball, so and one copy of Artisan. So all these different ways to get Pokemon in play. Pokemon Recovery and Energy Recovery is two Super Rod and Night Stretcher. You know, Night Stretcher is a new staple card for me in a lot of decks. It's a matter of between Night Stretcher and Super Rod, what the mix is for the deck you're playing. And I'm finding this one Night Stretcher, two Super Rod, good in this deck. Um, you, you, you don't necessarily, you probably could drop one of these three cards, whichever way you wanted to do it. I'd keep the Night Stretcher and maybe drop the Super Rod, one Super Rod, but at this point I've kept all of them because I don't know if there's another card I need. Honestly, when I was when I had the deck list and I was making changes, I got to the point where, I, which, which isn't common, where I was like, hey, I have deck space. What do I want to do here? Usually it's a matter of I, what card do I want to cut that's going to hurt the, the, the least from it. This one, it was like, I could add whatever card I want, what I want to do. Super, super awesome feeling to have. Okay, let's just running through the rest of the cards here. Maximum belt, super, super important. 50 more damage, your opponent's active EXs. We want to be able to one-shot um, Charizard EX and Dragapult EX. Maximum belt, super, super important for that. Uh, what do we have here? The other, other thing to help the knockouts, Kieran, to get to that, because we're doing 250, we get 50 more for maximum. That's 300, still short on this Pokemon, but then we get Kieran, does 30 more to your opponent's EX or V Pokemon, you can switch with it well. We almost never, I don't know if I've ever used it for that because we have our, our switching is so easy with this deck. And then also one copy of Choice Belt, um, really good in the deck as well, right? Uh, that way we can get to the 280 to knock out like 
uh, Richie Drago V-Star, which we certainly will run into that. And also one copy of Defiance Band. One could, pl oh, oh, and one copy of Town Store on the deck, because I'm talking about these awesome tools, right? I was thinking, this deck really should, could use Town Store, and of course, it does play it. Um, I don't often get it into play. Stadiums are harder to search out, right? You, you, you can grab it with Forest Seal Stone. Oh, and then another awesome two Forest Seal Stone. Honestly, a second copy I wouldn't hate, um, just because when it's pro it's such a great card to have. I often will attach it early, not use it, but of course your opponent may lost vacuum it, or or the copy could be prized. So a second copy wouldn't be a bad thing at all. Play for Irina, that gets us a water Pokemon. Forgot that when I was talking about Pokemon Search, and also an item. So water based decks, Irina is amazing. Let's say uh, two bosses order, you know that's great. Three Iono. Uh, what it's on loss vacuum just very useful i i don't you know i honestly I haven't used it a lot so if you if you find you need deck space you could cut it and then you find out whether you really how often do you miss do you need the lost vacuum in the list right but i haven't needed it too often um let's see the buddy buddy poffins one switch and two earth and vessel earth and vessel of course really important if you play irida it gets us lets us besides the water pokemon it gets us our palafin and and can get us earth and vessel which gets us our water energy and that is really it really helps out having the earth and vessel to guarantee being able to set up our attack here our attacking palafin ex so i really do like the list it's a very solid deck um it's a weird deck with the switching but with the uh Pekka Run EX, very good. And the stat line, of course, is insane with Palafin EX. Honestly, it's a one energy attacker. Uh, you could even play like Professor Turo Scenario in this deck. I know it's a, a nuisance getting Palafin into play because the hero spirit ability, but it's not that hard now, which which is really surprising to me because before Shredded Fable, I felt I felt it was it was a little too awkward. It was the ability to make all that switching happen every turn. I felt like I couldn't always do it. Now I feel like I'm thinking the switching happened just so much more reliably. Um, so because of that, I'm not. It's easier to get Palafin set up. So Professor Tura scenario, you're not getting one shot much, and therefore, and it's only a single energy attachment to attack. Professor Tura scenario might just work in this deck. I'm not sure. I'd have to think through because you got to get the Palafin X back in the deck at some point to get to be able to use it again. But that's not that hard. So Professor Tura scenario, I think about that as well. Definitely give this deck a try it kind of feels like a big basic deck in a lot of ways i know it's a stage one but it's a weird stage one the evolving's harder than most stage ones but it's so tanky it's so tanky it's insanely tanky for stage one does big damage you know great stat line so give it a try let me know what you think of it in the comments below let me know what changes you'd like to make to the list and, and have fun take care and play some pokemon